Hey, what's up everybody? Wes here. In today's video, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to show you how to make some awesome cauliflower mashed potatoes. Just start with a head of cauliflower, cut out any of these bad parts, and the next thing you're going to do is just take a knife and point it up here, cut the bottom out, um, make sure that you get all the extra pieces off of there. Uh, pretty simple just to carve out with a long um, paring knife or a butcher's knife. And after you've got that done, you're just going to go ahead and break it up into little pieces, and that way we can go ahead and boil it a little bit easier before we do that we're going to wash it off and just give it a good rinse in the sink you can either spray it off like i'm doing here or just hand toss it and that's going to accomplish the same goal but once everything is nice and clean we're going to take it and put it into our pot and then we're going to add our water now so we really just want enough water to get it to where the cauliflower is floating uh, we don't want too much water because we do want it to boil that should be good right there and then we're just going to put the stove on high get everything moved over and then next thing you know we're going to bring everything to a boil and just let it boil for probably about, I don't know, five to 10 minutes is usually what I go for. And just give everything a stir occasionally. And then what you wanna do part way through is just pull a piece out and test it like I did here. And you can see it's mashed and ready to go. So pour everything into a strainer. And once the strainer is set up in your sink, spray it off with some cold water because we are gonna be squeezing these out with a napkin like I have here or cheesecloth if you prefer. Um, this is just a simple table napkin. So fold your cauliflower into the napkin and you'll see here when I go ahead and give it a squeeze there's already water coming out so we want to get as much of this liquid out as possible and that's the other reason you also want to cool the cauliflower because this is going to be a very hot process on your hands. So squeeze all the water out and then once you've got enough of the water out basically what you're going to wind up with is a napkin that looks like it's already got some mashed potatoes in it. It's going to appear kind of clumpy, but this is ideal because we're really going to be putting this into the food processor and that's what's going to make the mashed potato illusion. So what I like to do is just get everything um, put into a Pyrex bowl or you can just go straight into the blender or your food processor, which is what we're going to use here. So rake your potatoes in or your cauliflower and then what we're going to do now is add our seasonings. What I like to do is add a little bit of salt for starters and after we've got our salt in, we're going to add some butter. Um, you can adjust these levels. This is probably the minimum you want to go for. Uh, add some sour cream, uh, maybe a little bit extra sour cream. And then after that, we'll add some flavor to it. So we're going to do a little bit more pepper here. And after we get our pepper on, we're going to add some garlic spices. Um, the garlic powder is usually the best way to go. And that's going to kind of give our potatoes a little bit more flavor. And next thing you're going to do is get everything set up. And then we're going to run it as fast as we can. Use this to push everything back and forth. And we're going to run it for about two to three minutes till everything's super smooth. Once it's all smooth, it comes out just like this, and it looks exactly like mashed potatoes. I added a little bit of extra pepper here just for looks, but this stuff is awesome. Um, it doesn't taste exactly like mashed potatoes, but it feels like it. It looks like it, but believe it or not, it is pretty close. Um, this stuff's pretty good. Uh, I definitely enjoy it. It's a little bit of a headache to make, but it's definitely worthwhile, and it's healthier for you. But the real test is to see what Hercules thinks of it. It looks like he digs it. Uh, we'll move over here and uh, give Zeus a try. He's a little more dainty with it, but he definitely enjoys it. I think these guys are big fans. But the only caution I would give you about this cauliflower recipe is that it actually winds up making a bunch of dishes. So we've got our processor, our colander, our bowl that we were boiling it in. We've got our knives, our forks. We've got our cutting board. So other than that, it's a super easy recipe, but you will have some dishes to do after. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing. And I look to see you guys next time. All right, peace.